We're going to open up VS Code in a second, and we're going to open up the template file, which is home.html. We need to use certain syntax in Django. So we're going to insert this rather weird looking set of characters, the curly bracket, percent assign, percent assign, right curly bracket. We have to insert this syntax into the template in order to use some Python code. So when you see this curly bracket, percent sign, and another curly bracket, this is a bit of Python code. It's a Python-like syntax. It's not precisely Python, but it will function like Python. You'll be able to read it if you know a bit of Python. One of the s snippets we'll use is a for loop. So we're going to create a loop that goes through a list. So it's the syntax is for variable name in list. And we have to surround that with curly bracket percenter sign. So the actual code that we're going to be using is for theta image, which is the name of the variable, in images, dot all. So images is the set of the object that's passed to us from the views.py file. Dot all is a list of all the images. So we're, we're going to loop through this and use the theta underscore image as the variable. So the second thing that you're going to learn, in addition to the left curly bracket, percent assign, some Python code, curly bracket, right uh, percent assign, then right curly bracket, is the use of curly bracket, curly bracket. So again, this probably looks a bit weird. This curly bracket, curly bracket is used for a Python variable. We're going we're gonna to have to extract a Python variable from inside of the for loop. So it's variable name, right? So it's left curly bracket, left curly bracket, some variable name in front of Python, right curly bracket, right curly bracket. The actual bit of code we're going to use is theta image. Remember, that's the variable from the for loop dot image, which is the, the data, the data type. It's the, the variable for the data type. And there's an attribute attached to this called URL. And this is how we're going to actually get the image into the, um, into the, in, into the home page. So standard HTML, you use a standard HTML tag of image. Source, this probably looks familiar if you know a bit about HTML, equal. And then within those equal signs, you normally put a URL. But because we're using a variable, a Python variable, we're going to use these curly brackets and then we're going to put the attribute of the URL inside of those curly brackets. So we're going to walk through the code right now, but I just wanted to give you an overview of these key concepts.